if f of x equals negative two x cosine x, we want to find f prime of x, or the derivative function, and then find the equation of the tangent line at the point pi comma two pi. The first thing we should recognize is that the given function is a product of two functions. We have f of x equals negative two x times cosine x. So to find our derivative function, we'll have to apply the product rule of differentiation given here below. The derivative of function f times function g is equal to f times g prime plus g times f prime, or we can say the derivative of the product is equal to the first function times the derivative of the second function plus the second function times the derivative of the first function. So for a given f of x equals negative two x times cosine x, following the given formula, we can let the function f equal negative two x and the function g be equal to cosine x. So let's start by setting up the product rule. f prime of x is going to be equal to the first function, negative two x, times the derivative of the second function, which is cosine x, plus the second function, cosine x, times the derivative of the first function, which is negative two x. Notice how for this first step, we didn't find any derivatives, we just set up the product rule. Now we'll find the derivative here and here, then find the products and see if we can simplify. So f prime of x is equal to negative two x times the derivative of cosine x, which is negative sine x, plus cosine x times the derivative of negative two x, which would just be negative two. So we have f prime of x equals, this would be positive two x sine x minus two cosine x. So this was the first step to find the derivative function but now we want to find the equation of the tangent line at the point pi comma two pi. So to find the equation of this tangent line, we need to find the slope of the tangent line, which we can find by evaluating the derivative function at x equals pi. So let's go ahead and do that. We would have f prime of pi equals two times pi times sine pi minus two cosine pi. Well, sine pi is equal to zero, then we have negative two times cosine pi. Cosine pi is equal to negative one, so we have negative two times negative one, so we have f prime of pi equals positive two, which again would be the slope of the tangent line at the given point. So now that we know the slope of the tangent line is positive two, and the line passes through the point pi comma two pi, we can find the equation of the tangent line. Let's find the equation on the next slide. So again, since f prime of pi equals positive two, we know the slope of the tangent line is equal to positive two, and the tangent line also contains the point pi comma two pi. So to find the equation of the tangent line, we'll use the point slope formula line which is y minus y sub one equals m times x minus x sub one, where m is the slope of the line and x sub one, y sub one are the coordinates of the point on the line. So this would give us y minus two pi equals two times x minus pi. Let's go distribute here and solve for y. So we'll have y minus two pi equals two x minus two pi. Add two pi to both sides of the equation. So we have y equals two x as the equation of our tangent line to the original function at the point pi comma two pi. Notice how this line would have a y-intercept of zero and a slope of positive two. Let's take a look at a graph of this. The blue graph is the graph of the original function. The point pi comma two pi would be this point on the function. Notice this red line is our tangent line, 
which we found to have an equation y equals two x. Notice how this line does have a y-intercept of zero, and even though the x and y axes are scaled in terms of pi, we can see the slope of this line would be two, therefore this graph does verify our work is correct. I hope you found this helpful.